sa kanyang angking kagandahan, balingkinitang katawan at magandang tindigan, hindi mo akalain na siya ay isang certified mom. Meet Maxine Misa, ang 28-year-old mom of two ng Paranaque City. Entrepreneur of the Year of 2023 and Most Outstanding Woman of the Philippines. Yang ang ilang laman sa mga parangalan na kamit ni Maxine. Kamakailan nga kinoronahan si Maxine bilang Mrs. Model Mom Universe 2023. Body positivity, mental health awareness, at pagsulong sa karapatang pangtao ng mga kababaihan at kabataan ang ilang sa mga advocacies ni Maxine. Ang kanyang feminine look, hindi mo dapat ismulin. Dahil sa edad na 18, itong pa lang si Maxine ay naging taekwondo player. Hindi lang siya beautiful with a heart, kundi beautiful CEO and founder ng Max Beauty Advanced Aesthetic Clinic. Hindi naman masyadong busy to si Maxine. Tawagin na po natin siya. Uh, Mrs. Model Mom Universe 2023 at Entrepreneur. Mga kada, let's all welcome Maxine Misa. Hi, Maxine. Good morning. I feel like I have to be proper because you're so proper. Come on in Hello. and uh, have a seat, please. Wait. Untik pang mahulog. Kamusta ka naman, Maxine? I'm doing good. Kamusta kayo? Good morning, Kada. Good morning, Miss P. Yes! Tell us about this Mrs. Model Mom Universe 2023 Award. What is this all about? So, ito, um, it's an, actually, I'm like an advocacy queen, no? So, this, I'm very grateful dahil yung mga ginagawa ko before I had this crown and I had this title, mas magiging broad pa yung platform na binigay sa akin which Aha. is of course to to do more advocacies and charities mhm mm uh, your some of your advocacies uh, center around mental health awareness and also protection for women bakit yun ang mga napili mong mga uh, causes Um, syempre, no, yung advocacy natin to stop violence against women mm -hmm. dahil um, meron akong pinagtaanan na ganun because I'm a battered woman. Mm -hmm. yes, so, so you had a, an abusive relationship in the past? Yes, I Oo. did. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit about it, Maxine, kung bakit ito ang naging battle, uh, battle cry mo? Um, at first, no, um, I really thought it was just a mental illness. Mm -hmm. Hanggang sa after how many years, hindi na talaga nagbago. And then, there I decided to make a change and sa sarili ko to be an, a good role model na rin na it has to stop. Mm -hmm. So, after then naman, when it happened, I mean, things happen and that's fine as long as after that, you still be a good person and you always just have to stand up again. Aha. At saka it led to something 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 much bigger than yourself, di ba? Because now, you are fighting for the cause of many other women who may be in the same boat. Pero kasi, Maxine, sometimes, di ba, parang hindi natin alam kung uh, is this something that we should still tolerate or something that we should get rid of. Lalo na kapag uh, usapang puso na, di ba? Pag mahal mo isang tao, minsan hindi mo alam na na-abuse ka na pala. So, Uh, what kind of advice can you give other women out there about um, yung mga red flags in an abusive relationship? Um, one thing I feel like uh, sa mga babae rin na pinagdadaanan nyo or pinagdaanan nyo. For me, kasi ang naisip ko lang is that I already did my part and I kept my good heart and tama na and I have to fight naman for my children. So, then I cannot stay there anymore. So, sometimes, mas kailangan natin isipin yung mga ibang tao pang nagmamahal sa atin. We can't just focus on that person na hindi naman tayo binavalue. Mm -hmm. But when is enough enough? Kasi ikaw nga, parang natiis mo eh, ng several years, years ba? Yes, Oo. yes. So, for me, ang, ano, it was enough when I realized na ang dami ko pa palang pwedeng magawa, ang dami pang ibang nagmamahal sa akin. So, why would I stick to that kind of life? Mm -hmm. So, there's always the brighter side of life. So, you, we just have to look at it. Do you give yourself a certain time limit? Parang, pag hindi ka pa nagbago in one year, goodbye. 
Ganun. Well, in my case, hindi nagbago in four years. <laughs> so, I think I did my part already. Tama. Yes. And then, it led to you uh, fighting for the rights of other women. Yes. Yung body positivity. Ano bang nakikita mong mga uh, issues at the moment tungkol sa body positivity in women? Siyempre, no, Miss P, I'm also a mom of two. Mm -hmm. And then, um, after birth, na-realize ko rin na ang daming changes sa atin, no? So, <laughs> na I'm very blessed also na meron akong negosyo, which is Eye Aesthetics Clinic. Doon, marami pa akong kwento na nakita ng mga kwento ng mga moms, ng mga babae. And yun nga ang maganda na sa negosyo din namin na It's the impact that we do. So, ako talaga. I want women to be confident. So, let's let's just always endure ko ano yung moment ng pagiging mom natin after being mom, and that's fine. Everything's going to be fine. So, ako kahit anong body you're at, you can always be beautiful. Tama. Oh oh. Let's talk about how. Did, did you just hear her say that she has two kids and she's uh, 28 years old but she doesn't look it? Lagi ka ba napapagkama lang mas bata <laughs> sa iyong edad? Yes, Miss P. You certainly I... don't look like a mom of two and uh, you look much younger than 28 years. Yes, I get it a lot. And uh -oh. even sa mga anak ko, parang sabihin nila na sister, like older sister uh -oh. daw ako. Tama. So, which is good. And I feel like it's about the aura more than anything. Aha. Ano bang pwede ba naming malaman ng kada squad natin? Kung anong mga lifestyle uh, decisions and uh, dietary restrictions ang meron ka? So, katulad nga ng sinabi po kanina, no, I was an athlete um, during high school. And then, siguro na-keep ko na yung discipline to like, I, I really work out. Minsan, hindi, since busy tayo, hindi naman sobrang tagal. No? But I, I make it to the point na um, I do it regularly. And syempre, inspiration ko rin na now I have two children. Kailangan malakas yung katawan ko because yes. I want to be able to carry them some more mm -hmm. habang lumalaki sila. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, very important then that we eat healthy. Of, of course, ang good nut nutrition is malaking bagay. Lalo na uh, more than anything, more than sa katawan ko, my, my children also need a healthy mom. Yes. And looking the way you do, uh, taekwondo pa talaga, yung napili mong sport, <laughs> diba? So, I'm sure, did you get hit on the face at all, diba? While you were pra practicing taekwondo? Yes, so I did compete before, so several years din yun. So yes, maraming beses na, maraming beses tayong nasipa bago ako nakasipa. So that's really part of it naman because I was a varsity. Oo, at saka naramdaman mo ba? Kasi sometimes, di ba, merong tendency ang society na kapag maganda, they tend to underestimate you sa sports. Di ba? Baka puro ganda lang to, or puro forma lang. Did that ever happen in all your years of yes. practicing Taekwondo? Yes. So, during my first years of um, practicing Taekwondo, before, palaging nagagalit sa akin yung coach ko because I'm a smiling face. Uh -oh. So, sabi niya, Maxine, like, hindi sila natatakot sa'yo. Not until I get to the mats, you know, then I completely change. So, actually, yun pa nga yung mas naging strength ko. Kasi at first, they, they think na parang, na, this is a smiling girl. She uh -oh. does not know what she, she's doing. But yeah. I completely change in few seconds when I fight. Diba? Maganda nga yun eh, kasi nag-disarm sila. Yeah, kasi hindi pa rin naman, hindi rin talaga ako masimangot or anything. Tapos nagugulat na lang sila ang pagsik mo pala, diba? Wala sa itsura, kumbaga. Now, let's talk about your business naman. Um... Ikaw ba naniniwala ka sa pretty privilege? Has has it ever have you ever used your your good looks uh, to to get ahead? Um, <laughs> sa totoo lang may PB4 nga mas mahirap para siyang taekwondo. Mm -hmm. Like um, people underestimate you uh -oh. because ah uh, does she even read books or does she even know what she's doing, Ruby. you know? But uh, during my first years in business, actually mahirap siya. Na ganon. Pero now, na medyo matagal na rin, I've been doing business for nine years already, ever uh -huh. since I was 19. So, um, ngayon, medyo okay na rin. <laughs> I mean, of course, like, um, 
mas appealing for them. Kasi parang you have to represent your brand, di ba? If your business has something to do with beauty, yes. eh kailangan beautiful ka. Yes, yes. <laughs> so that's one also, no? They always ask like, what do you do and stuff? So maganda itong naging negosyo ko because uh, sabi nga nila, they get inspired. Oo. Oh, oh. yes. Yung pala, ano, Maxine, maybe you can shed some light on this, di ba? May, may, marami rin tayong mga nababalitaan na, na medyo na over ang mga aesthetic mm. um, <clears throat> operations or yes. procedures. Where do you draw the line? Kapag may nakausap kang kliyente na, na marami masyadong gustong ipabago, do you, where do you start um, convincing them na baka, baka tama na yan mm. or it's not really necessary? Do you actually Um, get up the courage to tell them, yes. okay na yan, girl. Mm. <laughs> well, in our clinic, so yun naman talaga yung naging practice namin, no? um, me and our doctors, like, we are very honest to them na parang, oops, okay na muna to. Just come see us again in a few months kung okay. talagang feeling mong kulang pa siya. But then, of course, kami, we're not the kind of clinic also na, sige lang, sige lang. So kami, yes, we do. And especially me, I say it na parang, uh, maybe let's see in six months or a year. If you really need it, pa. So let's give it time. So isip, that's how we say muna. it. Yes, yes. So let's give it time. Relax lang. Because again, pag dumami naman, mas mahirap mabawasan. Oh, oh. Yes. Kamo sa naman ng dalawang kids mo. Where do they fit in the very busy schedule that you have? So yun Miss P. Actually, dun naman ako very grateful sa trabaho ko. Yung Um, anytime na nami-miss nila ako at, at nami-miss ko sila, pwede ko naman silang dalin. So, it's where I practiced also yung work-life integration. So, where, whatever I do, wherever I go, I bring them, especially if they miss me. They're so young pa, no? Anong yes. ages nila? Um, so, the baby boy is two years old and oh. the girl is five. Wow. Yes. So, anong pinaka-bonding active activity ninyo? I cannot... Imagine, parang nahati yung kung pwede mo hati yung sarili mo, eh, di ba? Siyempre, yung boy will want boy things and the girl will want girl things. Paano mo yun uh, dinidivide equally? I am very grateful naman na andyan din yung parents ko with me. So, um, katulad ng girl ko, was very ha happy kasi uh, she's just like me, eh. And the boy naman ngayon, two years old, so puro lambing pa lang. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, uh, I... You dance together. What yes. else are your favorite activities together? Um, aw, oh, ang pinaka nakakatuwa for me is that um, when I bring them to my um, work, mm -hmm. my baby girl is the same like me. So she's also making asikaso the clients. <laughs> yeah. So sabi ko nga ang pinaka mag magandang pagturo pala sa mga bata is yung imitation. Oh, oh. And Totoo. then ganun din when they want to dance, I dance with them. When they want me to sing, I sing with them. Tama. So ganun naman. I just really have to be involved sa kung ano pa yung buhay nila ngayon. Yeah. Yes. Hindi lang yung dapat ikaw yung nag-i-insist on what yes. they should do, but you also join them in what yes. they like to do, yes. di ba? If there's a message that you want to say to your kids, what would that be? Um, to my children, Caleb and Amanda, again, I always say this, I thank you for your kisses and hugs because you made me the person I am today. So, more than anything, salamat sa pagmamahal nyo. And, uh, your, your dreams, mga pangarap mo para sa kanila? Um, ako, I have very simple uh, dream for me and my children. We, um, I always tell them that we should just be a blessing to others and al always be a good person. At final question, kung isa na lang sa limang senses ang pwede mong itira sa iyong buhay, which sense would this be? Ang hirap na ba ang tanong na to, guys? Mahirap nga yan. Pero <laughs> I would go with a sense of touch. Wow. Okay? Kasi iba pa rin na nararamdaman mo lahat ng faces mo sa buhay, lahat ng pinagdadaanan natin, whether it's good and bad, it's good that we feel it. Uh, where can, Maxine, where can Mar Arcadas uh, reach you or follow you? Go right ahead. So guys, you can follow me on Instagram. It's at Maxine Misa. 
TikTok is at Maxine Misa also, and on Facebook it's Maxine Misa. <laughs> so, super simple. Yes. Maraming salamat, Maxine, for sharing your story with us. Thank you so much. And for being here. Thank you, Miss And Pete. we wish you more success, of salamat course. Po. Makanet 25, this is Pia Guanyo Mago. For more Kada Umaga updates, please click the subscribe button and follow us on Net25 social media pages at Net25 TV and at Net25 Entertainment Facebook page. See you guys. Bye!